Ah, como é que eu falo com você? Você não quer ajudar mais no serviço? Mas olha só, 11 horas da manhã você me aparece? O horário que a gente faz as coisas é de manhã sempre. De 8, de 7 da manhã, meio dia você tem que estar disponível. De 7 às 11, tá bom? Entrou agora. Só a Haridas está... So is it the speciality of the... Just one second. So, so the Bhagavad Bhajan is not necessary. All this. So when you do Bhagavad Bhakti, automatically and spontaneously, the Tata Siddhanta appears in the heart. So, Garukshara Das Babaji Maharaj used to do bhajan like that. So, especially now you've heard that Shalabhak Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. Who can describe how knowledgeable was Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada? How he was learning scholar? Even that man from the Calcutta University, what was his name? The, that one who used to study astrology. So he kept the, the chair of the astronomy faculty of the Calcutta University, especially for Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada. So this man from the this the um, how do you say Asudos Bandapadai, he is the um, Asudos Mukarji. He was the um, call Chance, Chancellor, Chancellor, Vice Chancellor. He was the Chancellor of the Calcutta University, and he told he told to Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada, you have to accept this chair of the astronomy faculty of Calcutta University, but Baxan Prabhupada, what he answered? He said, I didn't come to this world to, to count stars, actually, to free even one soul from this material world and, and that this soul may attain Goka Vrindavan. This is my goal. But, but this Asutos Bandapadhai, Mukarji, what did he say? Until you are alive in this world, I will keep this asana for you. Nobody, nobody will sit on 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 this chief uh, chief post of the astronomy course, astro astronomy faculty of Calcutta University. So even this sole scholar man, Asutos Bandopadai, this vice chancellor, this chancellor of Calcutta University. He gave so much honor and respect to Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada. So Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada went to Gorakishwara Das Babaji Maharaj to ask for initiation. But Gorakishwara Das Babaji Maharaj, very humbly, he told, Oh Saraswati, you are directly the embodiment of the mercy of Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge. But I am, I don't, I have, I know, I only know how to count with my fingers. I don't even know how to do signature like uh, probably my own signature like i don't even know how to read and write and you were so knowledge no, learned and scholar Im imagine the post of the chief uh, teacher professor of the uh, astronomy course of um, calcutta university is kept for you so how can i give initiation then baksan prapad was insisting three times he has to babaji maharaj to give initiation but gorakshara das babaji maharaj didn't accept then baksan prapad told if he Gorkishwara Das Babaji does not give me initiation. I will fast till death. Like I just, I cannot continue living. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur told to Gorkishwara Das Babaji Maharaj, oh, if you don't give initiation to this boy, he'll give up his life. Give some initiation to him. Then Gorkishwara Das Babaji Maharaj, what did he say? I'll ask to my Goranitai. I'll ask to Goranitai. If they if they allow, then I can give. So the next day, Bhaktivinoda Thakur asked, Hey, Babaji Maharaj, have you asked to go to Nitai? Then Gurukshara Das Babaji Maharaj told, Oh, 
forgot to ask him. I forgot to ask him. Next day, I asked. On the next day. So in the following day, Bhaktivinoda Thakur asked to Gorkishore, have you asked them? Then Gorkishore Das said, yes, Nityananda ordered me to give initiation to Bhaktivinoda Prabhupada. Like we heard about Narottam Das Thakur, that Narottam Das Thakur, he, he did so much service, he had to do so much service for to be able to be able to get the initiation from Lokanath Das Goswami. So we see. So we can recognize the Guru through the disciple. And so we can see, are you a fruit, a tree of a mango tree or a tamarind tree? You can see by the fruits. How can you recognize a tree? By its fruits, right? So by the fruits, we can recognize the fruit. So in the same way, our Guru Shoradas Babaji Maharaj, his, his so prominent disciple, Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada, so we see his conceptions like the philosophy of Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada. So today we're celebrating the disappearance of Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj. I told how he was so renounced. So once Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, he was wearing a beautiful dhuti, like a dhoti, and also a Punjabi, like a kurta. And then, and then Bhaktivinoda Thakur told, Hey Babaji Maharaj, Which Leela are you doing? Then Gorakshara Das Babaji Maharaj told, Oh, the Babaji peoples, they are imitating me. So Anukaran and Anusaran are different things. To imitate and to follow the behavior. So the monkeys, they do Anukaran, they imitate only. But the devotees, they follow under the guidance, Anusaran. So Gorakshara Das Babaji Maharaj, I do Bhakti, so automatically I have a renunciation. But some Babajis actually, they just are doing a renunciation just because they want to get name, fame, and reputation. And there they're using this door coping, like a um, <clears throat> door coping, just to get a name, fame, and reputation. <clears throat> like a loin cloth, loin cloth, loin cloth, loin cloth, very small cloth, just covering the parts, intimate parts. So and so one person came to Gorkshar Das Babaji Maharaj, to, he wanted to get married. And then wife and husband, they came. And they did pranam to Gorakshara Das Babaji Maharaj. And as Gorakshara Das Babaji Maharaj, like this man told to Gorakshara, oh, I brought a Krishna Dasi, a ser female servant of Krishna. Because in Bengal, after the marriage, after the wedding, they call the wife Krishna Dasi, like servant of Krishna. Then Gorakshara Das Babaji oh, said, oh, you got married. She's Krishna Dasi. So listen, very nice. Your Krishna Dasi is very beautiful. So look, she's a Krishna Dasi, means she's the female servant of Krishna. So from now on, you should never ever enjoy her or associate uh, physically with her. Open your ears and listen. Everybody listen carefully. From tomorrow, from today on, from now on. Otherwise, you'll become ashes. You'll die if you you want to asso to physically associate with. The servant of Krishna, a female servant of Krishna, your stupid nonsense. So you call, you marry your wife, you call her Didi Didi, like older brother, older, older sister, sorry, and then you want to physically associate with her, means you want to associate with your sister. Stupid nonsense. So what to what to speak of getting some blessing from Babaji Maharaj? This this man ran away from Babaji Maharaj, and. So one person came to Babaji Maharaj and said, oh, oh, I bought a great land in Navdwipa. Oh, you bought a great land. You're a foolish person. Navdwipa is a transcendental place. You cannot not even understand one particle of dust from Navdwipa. And you brought you bought a great land in Navdwipa. Foolish. This is a transcendental dham. So like this, Babaji Maharaj. So beautiful stories and his life st history. See, so today... We are talking about his ideal life and like his ideal vichar conceptions. How Babaji Maharaj used to do bhajan. 
So, just like, you know, Raghunath Goswami was in Vrindavan calling, Radhe, Radhe, where are you? In the same way, Guru Gishara Das Babaji Maharaj also used to do this kirtan. That's why Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada told, in his biography, he told, When I saw the renunciation of Babaji Maharaj, it was not because of his renunciation that I took initiation from him. Actually, it was because of his inner moods. That's why I took initiation from him. So, Maharaj gave to this person some cloth, some special cloth. So, what is the meaning of this external clothes? Like this saffron cloth. It means that you have this anurag for Shemati Radka, deep attachment. But you should not do this the monkey renunciation. You have to have the nishta inside yourself. And quickly Krishna will deliver you. Mahaprabhu gave these teachings. So these clothes, like seven clothes, give us marjada, like etiquette and proper rules. Then we can follow these rules. So, but also we have, we also must have the mood, how we have, how we must have deep attachment for Radha and Krishna. So, in the Pranama Mantra of Babaji Maharaj, so this process of worshiping the separation mood that Mahaprabhu gave this teaching to all the jivas of this world. So when we have, how can we have separation for God? If we have relationship with Him, if we don't have relationship, we can never have, never have separation. So those who have yoga, relationship or meeting, can have yoga, feel separation. So those who never met, never had yoga or meeting union, cannot have. So if you don't, if you are never married, how can you feel separation from your husband? If you had never, if you have never, never had a baby, how can you feel separation from your baby? So in the same way, that's how it is explained. So the vipralamba, the separation, nurse the meeting. So first we must attain the sambanda again. So who is giving sambanda again? Guru Pada Padma. So how can we have this relationship with Krishna? So Guru Pada Padma mercifully through the mantra, Guru gives us this relationship. Yeah, I'll finish my. So when we have the vipralamba, when you have some again, if you don't have some again. Only you took the saffron cloth from the Guru or took Diksha from the Guru, but you don't have Shraddha to Guru and Vaishnavas, so you're actually not getting any fruit. There's no fruit. So, what is Bhakti Labad? Bhakti Lata Bij, the seed of the creeper of Bhakti, is Krishna Seva Vasana, the desire to serve Krishna. So, Guru Dev mercifully, by, through the mantra, through the mantra, Gurudev is putting the heart of the conditioned soul, this desire to serve to Krishna, and giving the water of listening and singing, Shravana Kirtan, is the water of Shravana Kirtan. Then the seed will sprout, and then it will grow, and then it will grow in the form of a tree, and sorry, a plant, and then a tree, and then it will give fruits, like flower and fruits. So in the same way, we should have this strong nishta in guru if you don't have nishta in the guru nothing happens or you cannot get anything so in the pranam mantra of guru kishore das babaji maharaj so what is the speciality of vipralamba bhav our acharis explains especially in the book johnny lamani shlarupa goswami pad in the commentary of Ujjalani <clears throat> Lamani also, Vishwanatha Chakravarti Pada and Shilajiva Goswami Pad. They are showing beautiful explanations in the commentary. How is the speciality of Vipralamba Bhajan? It's the highest thing. 
this vipralamba bhajan. So how this viraha can come in our hearts? And when we have viraha, when we have sambandha. So after attaining something, if you lose something, this thing that you attain somehow, if you lose it, you'll be always absorbed thinking about that thing which you've ju just lost. Suppose you have something very, uh, very <clears throat> valuable and suddenly you lost what you had. You had. So imagine a widow, she has only one, uh, an only child, she has only one son. And her son became sick. And in the end, the this, this son died. So this widow, she's a widow lady, okay? So her only son, imagine, she's feeling so much, she's suffering so much, and then she's just like um, hitting her head on the floor, like she's completely bewildered because her son died. And then a, a saint came, and the saint with his power, he can uh, resurrect her son, like make her son come back to life. So imagine how this widow would feel if her son again came back to life. So Sanatana Goswami in Bihad Bhagavatam gives this example. So if a widow lady, if she, if her sons, sorry, if her son who had died, again he comes back to life, and she would feel so much bliss, and she would cry. Before she was crying, but because she was uh, so upset because her son passed away. But when her son comes back to life, but back to life again, she will be crying, but actually from happiness, but she will be so uh, like amazed. Is it true? Is it a dream? And she'll be like in shock for a while. So actually, the Acharya explained that Viraha dances on the head of the meeting. So this is the speciality of all this. Lila, so today we we offering our, again and again, we are offering our respect to the feet of Shala Guru Kshavadas Prabhupada Maharaj, that this bhava can come in our hearts. I'll come back to the beginning. So today we are celebrating this titi. This today is a viraha titi, separation day, the appearance of Shalagoru Kishoradas Babaji Maharaj. Today, Tirubhava. We are celebrating his Tirubhav Titi, Shila Guru Kishoradas Babaji Maharaj. So you've just heard how Shila Guru Kishoradas Babaji Maharaj, his Pranama Mantra. So, Guru Kishoradas Babaji Maharaj, he is the directly embodiment of separation. Sorry, not the separation, of renunciation, Vairag. He is the embodiment of renunciation. He's the embodiment of renunciation. So the separation also and his renunciation. When we listen we are listening about this now. So there's a external conception and an internal conception. So we have to the Shastra always um go along uh, explaining these two point of, points of view some external point of view and internal point of view so according to the external point of view this renunciation it's renunciation so according to a uh, external and ex external point of view what is a vairagya renunciation means you when you are detached from the material things okay from the material things you are detached you're not attached to the material things this is vairagya 
but the internal conception of, of internal meaning of vairagya is vishesh raga, special raga. Means you have special deep attachment to lords. So you just heard. So you have that we have the special raga, special attachment to lord, just like. Just like Raghunath Das Goswami, he did a pranam mantra to Sanatana Goswami in the Vilap Kusumanjali book. So this Bhakti Rasa fills with the Forcefully, he made me drink this nectar of bhakti ras filled with renunciation. Vairag jukti means the special raga, means the vraja bhakti, the spon uh, spont spontaneous attachment to Krishna in the mood of vraj. So, humbly, Raghunath Das Goswami is saying, I didn't have any taste for vraja bhakti. <coughs> Sorry, but Sanatana Goswami Pad, mercifully, he He made me enter this Vraja Raga Bhakti. He made me drink this Vraja Raga, Raga Bhakti. Because actually we see in the life of the Sadaka. How can we enter this Vraja Raga Bhakti? So we see this external uh, detachment of Bhag, uh, Babaji Maharaj, Shri Guru Kishoradas Babaji Maharaj. And people of this world can learn many things with his external renunciation also. How he was so renounced. So he used to use a simple duty, just as normal ordinary clothes, and sitting, and sitting on the banks of the Ganga and eating the mud of the Ganges River. He used to eat the mud of the Ganges River. Okay? So he was eating the mud, or means the earth, in the, the the ground, the soil at the banks of the Ganges River. So there there were some. He used to live inside some old boats, you know, old boats, who like like some boats which were there in the Ganga Ganges. So he was living inside these old boats and chanting holy names. So from an external point of view, he was so renounced, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur also. The same with Goswami, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. He had so much love and affection and friendship to Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to speak and discuss Bhagavad Kata and Tata Siddhanta with Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj. Although Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, from an external point of view, from the Munjain point of view of the people, he had no like a learning, like he had no education, no education qualification. He didn't have. But according to the internal view or internal point of view, like in, actually, he was he was so knowledgeable in all the Tata Siddhanta, in the Shastra Siddhanta. He had so much l knowledge. So even he used to go to great assemblies of great uh, assemblies of the um, no, uh, Panditas in Navdhip. He used to go to these assemblies of great Panditas in Navdhip, and then he used to tell them. So there was a man, he used to give a Harikata or like a preaching in Navdip. Um, sorry, not Harikata. This Pran Goswami was a man who used to give lecture in Navdip. Okay? 
So Gorky Sharada Sabaji Maharaj used to go to him. Actually, this uh, Pranagopal Goswami, he was a great speech, great speaker of the Bhagavatam, very known in Navdeep. Speaking so many Sanskrit verses in, with so much rhythm and you know melody. He was he, this Pranagopal Goswami used to recite these Sanskrit verses. Thousands of people used to gather up to listen to him speak. But sometimes Shalagurakasharadasavaji Maharaj he used to go to these places where he was and he used to say, Hey Prangopal, whatever you're saying, this thing, such thing you're saying is against the proper Siddhanta. It's against the Siddhanta. And then Gorakshara Babaji Maharaj used to explain the proper Siddhanta. And it was not necessary for him to speak any shloka. But anyway, he used to establish the perfectly tattoo Siddhanta of the Shastras. That's why our Gurudev used to say, so we took a mission in this mission. <laughs> okay? So what is the name of our mission? So it's the mission of Hardas Thakur. Yes? So what is the name of our mission? The mission of Gorakshar Haridas Bab Haridas Thakur. So Haridas Thakur showed how to chant holy names. And Gorakshar Gorakshar Das Babaji Maharaj showed this vairagya, this renunciation, and also the Tata Siddhanta also. So actually, it's not necessary for bhajan that we have so much. Uh, so, like knowledge and scholarship and like learned like a intelligence like a panditya you know you be so much learned and scholar it's not necessary to do when you do bhagavad bhakti spontaneously the status siddhanta comes when bhakti comes so gorakshara das babaji maharaj he used to do bhajan like that especially you heard So in Telepra Vishnu Vishnu Pada Shilabhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. Who can describe how knowledgeable and, and learned and scholar was Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada? Even the that vice chancellor of the Calcutta University. So he kept the chair of the astronomy department for Bhaktivedanta the Prabhupada. Okay, so even this great uh, vice chancellor of the this chancellor of the University of Calcutta kept the chair of the astronomy department for Shila Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada. So see how great was Shila Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada. And Shila Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada he asked to get, uh, take initiation from Shila Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj. And at this point, we already were translating from the beginning, so I just stopped here.